Now, I will have to show you an end-to-end -end modeling demo for the book sales. We'll start with um, data model. The first demo I will have to show you is to create a book author view. Where if you remember in our book subscription on SAP HANA Cloud, uh, we have a two table, one books, one author, and we're going to make a, uh, a view to join them together as a book author view. Let's look at in the database. So in the books, I have um, a column author ID, which is foreign key, in referring, uh, referring to the ID of the authors. Now let's do it together with the uh, data modeling in the data uh, DWC. We will need to navigate to the uh, data builder. And in this case, uh, we are going to create a, a book author view. To create a view, we're going to using a, a new graphical view. First, let's look at the source. In last exercise, we have created a connection to our SAP HANA Cloud where our bookshop solution design. And then here you are listing the order of the table uh, on my bookshop solution, as you can see. And to start with the um, the modeling, you just drag and drop the, the remote table, uh, table, the books and author, and then you can start to do, uh, to do the joining and projection. To save the time, I already have created one, so I will walk you through on that. We can preview the data uh, from the HANA Cloud in for the remote table for the books. Just simply click preview data. Now we have see the data that has been remotely uh, queried from the my HANA Cloud table. So basically, it treats this one as a remote table for my HANA Cloud. The same we can preview for the author. And then you can uh, you can create a um, join uh, or you can create a different option using the operator here. For here, we are using a, a joining. Uh, a joining, we're joining these two data uh, to these two remote table together. And then I'm doing um, uh, a mapping. I'm doing the mapping. And mapping, uh, if you still remember, what would be for my uh, author ID on my books and re, um, left joining to the ID on the author in this case. And then we, instead of a uh, output order field, we let's do a projection. So this one, in this step, we do a projection uh, only select the few we, where we would like to using uh, in the final modeling. For example, we need the book title, author name, and we don't need the stock and price. It doesn't make sense for uh, for the as a dimension uh, to use a dimension in this case. And at the end, um, we define it as a viewed, and the viewed, uh, we give it the business name here as a book author dimension view. And then you also have a chance to select the semantic usage for our case. Eventually, we are going to using this as a dimension. Therefore, we select it as a, the usage as a dimension. And then another option is expose for consumption. Uh, we allow you to expose this one for external consumption. For example, uh, using the uh, SA, um, SAP Analytics Cloud uh, to consume this view. But in our case, it's a dimension. We're not going to uh, expose it. And then once you have finished the, um, um, the design and then you need to save and you need to save it and then you need to click deploy and as a result the states will become deployed and then this can be using in the, uh, another modeling. And then you finally you can have a chance you can rename it uh, you can rename you can rename the field as a business uh, more free, more friendly uh, terms here. Uh, as I have done, to rename them all. You can uh, you can you can preview the uh, the final data. As a result, and we have a book author viewed with book title description, uh, the field we want for the um, as a dimension.